bit of dust in your new car, all you pussies, get out there and drive the fucking thing! Hey, put it through its paces! So the secret was to lean back, put the power on the back wheel, put the weight on the back wheel, so I could dig in, and that gave me traction. Leaning forward was a mistake. Leaning back was the key, as other people told me. All right, let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Can't get out of this sand. The only thing I can do is actually go straight down there. There's no track there, but this is dangerous. Just gonna go straight down the sand hill. Hope there's no cliff.
Well, there you have it. Mission accomplished. I don't know how many people in the world have climbed big red sand dune, 40 metres high. I climbed it up and then I climbed it at one of the more steeper descents or accents, whatever, up or down. And um, took me four goes. I'm absolutely exhausted. But um, the bike, the bike did good. And, um, you know, the, the truck's holding up. Yeah, I don't know about that. But apart from those few minor things, we're good to go. Let's go home, hey? I came here to conquer Big Red on this bad boy. You know what? I did it. So I didn't ever quit. Let's go. Like a boss! How's these fucking flies, mate? Well, I'm all packed up and turn around and head home. 3,000 kilometers to go home. I'm worried about the trailer, to be honest. I've got 800, 800 k's down that track. Fucking piss off! Fucking flies! So, oh well, who gives a shit? All right, bike's on. Let's just hope it doesn't drop off. Piss off! Piss off! A long trip home, let's go. I'll be honest, I didn't actually think I was gonna get up it. When I went down that first sand dune and tried to get up and I thought there's no way in hell I could get up that. But then when I tried that second one, I was so close that it was all about throttle and power. And um, it was, I was holding on for brute strength. This was no light dirt bike where you just skimmed across the top. The wheels were buried in. So the secret was to, um, on that, that fourth attempt, the secret was wait all the way back and just when I could see the finish line, I just hammered it and pushed the, the weight at the back of the wheel and I could notice it get traction and then I flew over the top and um, in the end I did it quite easily. So it's all about technique. Tire pressure was about 18 and 18, something like that. I know I winged a lot. The hardest thing is, you gotta understand, I'm doing this unassisted, so I've gotta walk with Kevlar jeans on. I don't know why the hell I wore Kevlars. Big boots on through the sand. It might only be 40 meters. Grab the drone, set the drone up turn the bike around in the sand, lift up 240 kilos alone in the sand, then ride down a hill without crashing again. You've only got 30 minutes of battery life in the drone, so you wanna try and do all of that before the battery runs out. And hopefully you just, you've filmed something, you know? So I'm not gonna know what I filmed until I get back, but you know, I sort of prefer to do it unassisted because at least I can't crack the shits at anyone. And um, I can take my time, so I was up at seven. So that was three hours, three hours to do all of that there and back. So I feel a great sense of achievement and accomplishment and I really do feel that I can do anything if I put my mind to it, you know. Just pulled over, have a check of everything. Bike's all secure. Window's not really working too well. Has anybody got a vacuum cleaner? Houston, we have a problem.
there is what you call a bush fix. Not many people will know how to do that, but when you when you when you're handy like me. That that ain't going nowhere. And again, I may make this stuff look simple, but you know, it's years. It's years of um, surviving in the outback, you know, let's go. I'm just gonna pull over and um, check the, um, it's pretty dusty in here. Let's pull over and check my handiwork. Ah, oh, all right. Switched under there. Doing a good job, old girl. It's pretty dusty out here. So there's a bit of shit that's going wrong here. That that that, that cable tie is fucking broken. Fuck. The um. And. I noticed this was hanging out before I plugged it in, but one of the one of the pins one of the pins are snapped off. I probably I don't know if it'll work anymore, but has to be said some shit's fallen apart. You know that's fallen off. It's attached there. That's snapped. I don't have another one, but she seems pretty good to me, mate. When you're in the outback, you don't, it's not about the small things, you just got to keep going. I don't think the indicator's working, the back window's smashed, but apart from that and these fucking flies, hey, dusty, 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 it's pretty bloody dusty. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. dust in your new car all you pussies get out there and drive the fucking thing hey put it through its paces What? Defender's tough. Alright, let's keep going. Get a bit of mud on the car. Hey? Whoop. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! All I did was just take it for a demo run of the Birdsville track, but nah, nah, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna have it, but anyway. So I've only got 150 k's until I get to Maree. After we get to Maree, there's, um, there's bitumen. The track's not too bad, but it is brutal. I mean, I'm sitting on 100, 110, down to 90 you know, sometimes down to 70. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it to one of those, um, one of those car washes, you know, the, the $20 car washes? No, $39.95 inside out. And I'm gonna say this, mate, I'll say, mate, 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 I'll be checking. <laughs> if there's one, <laughs> if there's one bit of dirt on the, <laughs> if there's one bit of dirt on this car when I pick it up, mate, I'll tell you what, I'll go off. Mate. Make sure it's bloody clean, all right? I'll be checking. $39.95, hey? Value for money. So here's the thing, right? Um, I'm 150 k's from RE, but I've got to get to Adelaide tomorrow night by the latest because on Friday, I've got to go to a wedding in Adelaide. And you know that big tall Ranga guy, the guy with the moustache, the big, the laughing larrikin guy? Well, he's getting married and I'm invited. And uh, we were besties in the house, and um, we talked about his wedding in there. 
and um, he said he would invite me. So he's invited me and I'm gonna honor that. I'll be rolling up in this bad boy, looking pretty good. But um, I've got a change of clothes and all that there. So, so yeah, not tomorrow, but the next day I'll be at Nick's wedding. So looking forward to that. Just pulled over, I need to check the thing because I heard a bang. <laughs> It's good to me, let's keep going. No, I'm joking. Holy shit. Okay, we're in trouble here. Okay, we've just gone to four tar downs, two broke. So, alrighty. Got a different room. Look at that beast. Absolute animal, that is. It's an animal. Oh. We are living the dream. Oh, the size of that TV. Fuck. Oh! <coughs> oh, Jesus. Look at the dirt on me. Parry! How are you? Guess what? What? I just climbed Big Red. I did it. Oh, my man. Awesome! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four attempts. It was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. You got up it? I got it. I got up it, mate. Up one of the steepest faces. I just held on and oh. gunned it, mate. Now, now, Daniel, serious question. What? Did you lean back or lean <laughs> forward? I leant back. Today is day five, and I'm at Marie. I've only got seven, eight hundred k's to go to get to um, to get to Adelaide, and then um, so today I'm going to try and get to Adelaide and um, clean my car. So it's got like an inch full of dust through it because yeah, that's what you do when you have a brand new car. You totally destroy it like I did. When I, cl when I climbed Big Red, I wore this jacket and I, I vlogged it, but I stuffed it up. I had it in fast forward. Don't ask me if these things happen. But this is a jacket I wore. I don't know what this is called, but I'll be attaching links. But I'll tell you why I wore this jacket. It's actually got a back protector in there and in the sleeves here. It's obviously all Kevlar lined. But look at this. It's actually got armor. So, and also in the sleeves. So it's actually got body armor. So the thing is, I don't wear a leather jacket a lot, but I'll tell you what, I like this jacket. Um, I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring me, that they gave me this jacket and it gave me other stuff. But the fact is, at least you have a level of protection. Um, so anyway, I like it. That's why I wear it. Just pulled over, I've just seen a very rare sight. I actually thought they were statues. Emus. Oh, we're out, bro. 
across the sprint. <laughs> Look where I am. Jesus. Time for a bit of a clean, I think. So I'm just cleaning out the car and guess what I found? That, and I'm not, I'm not making this up, that is a rock that went through the back windscreen. I'm going to keep that as a, as a memento. Well, I've finished vacuuming, it's like new, so good to go. All right, I'm happy with the way it's come up, pretty good. So now that I'm in Adelaide at the car wash, I just want to talk about some of the casualties because I've just done three and a half thousand Ks in brutal terrain. So let's look at the car to start with. Okay, so first of all, we we shattered, we shattered the back window, but there's these little stone chips here on the back, right? Um, but also the camera here, that's the reversing camera. That's smashed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. The trailer, um, that's snapped, and um, that's that, that's totally gone. Um, but apart from that, apart from all that stuff, and in the interior, pretty much being being destroyed. That's really the only damage, and of course the bike. Hey. Okay. So um, you can ride a Harley Davidson up Big Red because I did it.